be using your partner's pipes. She's got some nice pipes. Thank you. So, yeah, good pipes. I need, I need to go to the gym now. But we need, you're focusing on the pipes, her biceps, to really transition to the cool part and then in the move. If you don't do that, it doesn't work. All right? So, how you get into this? Sure to push, two, three, and four. Her right, my left. Very simple. One, two, three, and four for the follows is one, two, turning to her left as a half turn. So we're going to go one, two, three, and four. I'm bringing her in and I'm turning my wrist clockwise. Because as I'm doing a clockwise turn, it turns her elbow over. And if she doesn't allow that turn to take place, she doesn't turn. So as she's doing a half turn, I'm coming around to her on the other side. So right now I'm lined up with her. But as she's turning, two, three, and four, I'm not more so in front of her, but I'm also now on the right side. I've moved in front of her on the track. My, her left arm is not underneath. Don't get wonky. Got to bring it on top of the connected hand underneath. So look at it this way, front to back. I go one, two, three, and four. So I'm not going to do that way as well. And she's coming through one, two, three, and four. So I'm on my left foot, she's on her right foot. And I'm barely holding her fingertips with mine. But the reason why this hand is here, her pipe, that's the next part. Five, six is a snap turn for her. So we're just going to take two steps. I'm going to let go of her right hand that I'm connected with. And go five, six. So she's facing towards the track. And I'm holding her right bicep with my right hand and left with the left. So if we want to go this direction again, let's go down here. We're going to get five, six. So one, two, three, and four, five, six. So it's a snap, and that's, we really don't death grip her guys, but you want to have biceps for six, then you're going to be rock and go for seven and eight. And I move over to her left side to finish it, because we're just doing a triple triple to the end of that. So we'll think again for there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you're going to give her a free spin for triple, and she does a triple to finish. If you don't do that snap, and you connect with the biceps, the rest of it doesn't fly. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six. So one, two, three, and four, five, six. Rock and go, triple step, triple step. And you really, is pull and pull, push. It's a cool move, but that snap is important. So we're going to stop on four. One, two, three, and four. Again, you pull it forward, that's the only hand you're connecting it with. Switch his turns, switch hands, five, six. And then I get a bicep, and then we go triple step, triple step, triple step. It's called pipes. It's a really cool move, very special move. The ladies that teach that at a location that is no longer around. So I want to bring you back for the first time this year. Miss Laura liked it when we were practicing. It's fun. She's, if it's fun, guys, if your partner says it's fun, do it. So that's why we do it. We record, we post, so you can practice and learn at your own pace, get better at your own pace. The main point is dance no matter what. That's important. Thank you for Renee Juan and Mario for allowing us to the dance studio. She's really, it's a wonderful place. So grateful for them. Until next time, all this stuff to say, two simple words. Keep dancing.